A pleasant greetings to all. In this video, I am going to explain classification of signal based on the symmetry. According to the symmetry, the signal is classified into three types that is even signal, odd signal, neither even nor odd signal. So classification of the signal based on the symmetry, signal is classified into three types. One is even signal, second odd signal, next even neither even nor odd signal, neither even nor odd signal. So first of all I am going to explain about even signal, even signal. So what is even signal? If the signal satisfies, if the signal f of t satisfies the relation f of t is equal to f of minus t is known as even signal. Now I am going to give some examples for even signal. The first signal is the DC signal that is the even signal and next this is also a even signal. Next cos waveform that is also a even signal. Another one simplified expression explanation of the even signal is whatever information present in the right side the same information available in the left side whatever information available in the right side equal to the same information available in the left side also so this is the even signal see here for this waveform here the, in the same information available in the left side. Here at 1 the value is maximum 1, minus 1 the maximum value is 1. The same information available. See positive the same information available here. Negative the same information available. Positive, positive. So same information available in the left side also. So this is the even signal. Next I am going to explain discrete time even signal. Discrete time even signal also x of n is equal to x of minus n. See the example. 1, 2, 3, again 2, 1. So this is x of 0. So x of 1 and x of 2. x of 1, here x of 2. x of 0. This is x of minus 1 and x of minus 2. So whatever information available in the right side, the same information available in the left side also. This is the discrete time even signal. And next I am going to explain about the odd signal. So what is odd signal? Odd signal, if the signal f of t satisfies, if the signal f of t satisfies, f of t is equal to minus f of minus t this is known as odd signal okay see here i am going to explain some example the first example is the signum function so this is the signum function signum of t plus 1 and this is minus 1 okay t see this is the relation f of t equal to minus f of t see first consider this waveform the positive side okay f of t equal to minus f of t so see what is the negative half of this this is the negative half so this negative half is same as that's the next also whatever information is present in the right side with the same information with negative sign is available in the left side so this is the signum of t so another one defini definition is whatever information present in the right side with the same information with negative sign 
with negative sign is available negative sign is available in the left side okay next i am going to give another one example for odd signal that is the sine waveform the sine waveform see here what is odd signal whatever information available in the right side the same information available in the left side with a negative sign so what is the negative of this waveform you have to draw this this is the negative of the sine waveform so this is positive and negative negative positive here positive here negative and here positive negative the same waveform see here the same waveform is repeated negative here positive and negative so whatever information available in the right side the same information available in the left side with a negative sign that is known as odd waveform okay and next i am going to explain the so next i am going to explain discrete time odd signal so what is the example for discrete time odd signal here also the condition is x of minus n equal to minus x of n okay first take the signal x of n is minus 3 Minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three. Okay. Then find out what is x of minus n. That is equal to three, two, one, zero, minus one, minus two, minus three. And what about minus of x of minus n? That is equal to minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, and three. So this is the discrete time odd signal. Okay. Next, I am going to explain neither even nor odd signal so neither even nor odd signal so it is not a even or odd signal neither even nor odd signal so combination of both so that is the neither even nor odd signal. it does not satisfy the relation x of minus t equal to not equal to plus or minus x of t okay this is the neither even nor odd signal say so the example you can see some example so ram signal ram signal one quadrant only the signal is available so this is the neither even nor odd signal then u of t it is a unit step signal and next signal is e power minus 80 so these are the neither even nor odd signal for this neither even and nor odd signal how to find out the even and odd component for the even component how to find out this x of t plus x of minus t divided by 2. For the odd component, how to find out x naught of t is x of t minus x of minus t divided by 2. So this is the way to find out even and odd component. Next I am going to explain how to find the even and odd component of a given signal. Find even and odd component of u of t. So u of t is the unit step signal. So this is u of t. The magnitude is 1. And next I am going to explain how to find out the even and odd common of u of t. The even common of u of t is equal to u of t plus u of minus t divided by 2. So what is the odd common of u of t? u naught of t is u of t minus u of minus t divided by 2. So to find out even common of u of t, first of all I am going to find out what is u of minus t. So u of minus t is time reversal is take place. Here this is u of minus t. This is t. And next find out the odd component. Before that, I am going to draw the odd component of u of t. That is u e of t. See how to find out this u e of t is equal to what is u of t? u of t is 1 plus what is u, u of minus t that is 0 divided by 2. So u e of t is 1 by 2 in the right side. 
and in a similar manner, what about u naught of t? That is equal to what is u of t for this side? That is 0. u of minus t is 1. The value equal to 1 by 2. So u e of t equal to 1 by 2. The total signal having the same magnitude that is 1 by 2. Next I am going to explain how to find out the odd component of u of t. That is u naught of t. First of all, I am going to draw the diagram. So to find out odd component, first take u of t and u of minus t. So u of t minus u of minus t that is divided by 2. This is the odd component. This is u of t and this is u of minus t. So 1 minus 0 divided by 2. Again the value is 1 by 2. I have to plot the 1 by 2 value. So this is 1 by 2. And next find out u naught of t in the left side. So again u of t minus u of minus t divided by 2. So what is the value of u of t, u of t here? There is no u of t. So 0. And what is u of minus t? u of minus t is there. That is 1. 1, 1 divided by 2. So the value is minus 1 by 2. I have to plot the minus 1 by 2 also. Here minus 1 by 2. Now this is look like a signum of t. So signum of t is here 1 and 1 magnitude. But u naught of t that is equal to half in the signum of t. So these are the even and odd component of u of t are unique set signal.